So in this video, I'm going to talk about the fixing tools, but I'm going to talk about them in Photopea instead of Photoshop. So if you want to know about Photoshop, watch my other video, um, but in this one, I talk about them in Photopea. They're very similar, but on my Chromebook, there's at least one major difference. So first of all, what do fixing tools do? Well, if you have something, a a pimple or a scar or something in the scene, a piece of garbage on the ground or something that you want to get rid of, these tools allow you to fix those things. It kind of removes things, doesn't erase them, it just replaces the pixels with something else. So uh, let's look at where they are. They are in the same place as they are basically in Photoshop, which is on the left hand of the screen um, in the toolbox. So if I click and hold here, you'll see I have a whole bunch of them. Today, we're going to talk about the healing brush and the patch tool. And then two down from there, I have my cloning stamp or my clone tool. So um, let me show you what the cloning stamp does first. So the cloning stamp will take pixels from one area and allow you to paint them somewhere else. And it takes those pixels and puts them on top of the background. It doesn't blend them, it just puts them on top. So let's see how that works. In Photoshop, you hold down Alt and you click. That looks like that's gonna work here, but when I go to do it, it gives me this error message and says either use Alt or click or K. So maybe because I'm on a Chromebook, I'm not sure. But if I hold down K and then click, now when I go up here, you can see, oh, it's grabbed those pixels. So I can paint and put this eye up here and you can see that the um, source is moving as I'm painting out. And now when I let go of my mouse, um, I can see that I have taken the pixels from down here and I've painted them on top of those background pixels and they're just sitting on top there, all right? So that can be a very useful thing sometimes um, when you're fixing up a picture if you just want to take specific pixels and put them somewhere else and clone them just like when you clone an animal you're making a duplicate of it an exact copy we made an exact copy of these pixels up here now there's this thing called the healing brush that works in a similar way but there's one major difference so we go on this healing brush i go here I either do alt or k that seems to be what works on my Chromebook. So K and I paint up here and at first it looks exactly the same, right? It looks exactly the same. However, now when I let go, you can see that what the healing brush does is it works just like the cloning stamp, except for it takes those pixels on top and the background pixels and mixes them together. Again, it takes the top pixels, the pixels you're putting on top and the pixels that were already there and blends them together. So that can be particularly useful when you don't want a hard edge. See how this one has a hard edge. Say if you have some skin and there's a scar, that can be a very helpful thing, which is why actually it's supposed to look like a Band-Aid, almost like it heals things together, right? And then the last tool that we're going to talk about in this works in a totally different way. It's the patch tool. And the patch tool works like this. You circle what you don't want. So you circle the bad. Oop. Oh yeah, you circle the bad. Right, you circle the bad and you drag to an area nearby. I wouldn't wanna drag all the way to here because it's really dark. I wanna to drag to someplace nearby and it will blend those pixels together. So you could see this could be great for if you're getting rid of pimples or something like that. So again, I draw a circle around what I don't want and I drag it to nearby and we can just take all the spots off this poor cheetah and it blends the pixels together so you don't get that harsh edge that we had in the cloning stamp. This actually, to be honest, can be very like soothing to do. So you just circle the bad, drag to good nearby. I just like to do smaller areas. If you try to do some big area, it doesn't quite work. You can see what happens. Like if I do it around the eye 
and I drag over the eye because the eye was so dark. Sometimes it gets like a little bit kind of muddy um, and you don't want to get it too muddy. So there, there are some times that the cloning stamp is better. There are some times that the healing brush is better. There are some times when the um, patch tool is better. I think you learn best just by using them. And sometimes you'll realize, oh, a combination could be, I'm going to use a cloning stamp. So here we have the cloning stamp. I'm going to say K and click here. And then, oop, I didn't do it. K and click. And then I'm going to first do cloning stamp, but then you see that it has the hard edges around it. But then you could maybe move to the patch tool and uh, oop, the patch tool. And then you would like patch tool around those harsh, harsh edges and that would help smooth it out some. So sometimes it's combining tools together is what's going to work the best. If you have any questions, please let me know.